In the first video, we went through how to generate a graph and label it in Microsoft Excel. In this video, what we will go through is how to modify the appearance of the graph and how to add a trend line through your data sets. All of the text on the graph can be changed by selecting it and under the Home tab, changing the font as well as the size and the style. To change the number of decimal points on the axes and give the appropriate number of significant figures, you would have to go back to the original data set and change the number of decimals manually. Now back on the graph, the decimal values have changed to the appropriate digits. To add or remove grid lines under the Layout tab, choosing grid lines, you can choose to add the major and minor both horizontal and vertical grid lines. Under the same Layout tab, in the Axes options, you can choose the scale of the graph to zoom in more particularly to your data. as well as change the spacings between the grid lines. The data series itself can also be changed by selecting it, right-clicking and going to Format Data Series. You can change the different marker styles, change the color of the marker, as well as change the line color and thickness. You can go in and play with all of these settings until you generate a graph that looks appropriate for you. One of the final things I will go over is the addition of a trend line. A trend line is a specific line that in general fits your data. Most data collected through experiments is not a 100% perfect straight line, but the trend line is an approximation of a line that goes through your data points. With your series selected, under the Layout tab, choosing Trend Line Options gives you a menu of which trend lines you can choose from. If it is generally a straight line, you would choose a linear trend line. However, Excel does have other options available. The relationship between the temperature scales is a linear straight line, so I will choose a linear trend line. At the bottom of the trend line window, you can extend the trend line past your data to have a prediction of what it would look like beyond your actual data set. If the data has a known intercept value, you can force the line to go through that particular point. In this particular case, there is none so I don't have to select that. The last two options are usually important when looking at a trend line. Display equation on chart and display our square value. The equation displayed on the chart is the equation of the trend line. When doing calculations, it is much more accurate to use the equation generated by the line than trying to estimate the predictions based on the graph. The R squared value is a value of how well the specific trend line fits your data. A value of 1 would be a perfect fit. Most experimental data will not give a value of 1, but should be very, very close. I hope this tutorial has helped you understand how to generate a graph using Excel, which will be useful in a number of courses. Good luck!